All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please let me know if the voice is good or in case you have any problem from your side. Today, our topic is about the miracle of Allah. But as long as the miracle of Allah is the same as the miracle of a prophet Muhammad, it doesn't matter really you speak about Muhammad miracles or Allah miracles. It's Allah miracles anyway. But I find it very funny when the Muslims say that this is the miracles of Prophet Muhammad. Because that will make Muhammad is the one who owned those miracles. And he is the one who did. In this website, it says here, the miracles of Prophet Muhammad. Muslims believe that God sent many prophets throughout history to guide the humanity. Through people out the pure greed of belief in one God. Okay, let us go to the business. Splitting the moon. The prophet, he split the moon. Muslims, the prophet, he split the moon. Okay, show me the verse in the Quran. It says, Muhammad, he split the moon. I want to see it. You know what? If you show me the verse saying, Muhammad, he split the moon, I will shave my 20 foot beard. Actually, now it's 21. We have too much rain. Where in the Quran it says Muhammad he split the moon? Who is a, a cute Muslim would like to give us a call? Let me open my Skype. Hold on. Today I'm going to get busted. I, I'm giving them opportunity, by the way. Who is a Muslim when I call us? And show us where in the Quran it says Muhammad he split the moon, brother. Hmm? Where in the Quran it says that Muhammad he split the moon? Are you sure? Well, I challenge you to prove to me that Muhammad he can even split a watermelon without using a knife because I can do the same. Who is a Muslim? Want to show us? My Skype is open if you are a Muslim. Who is a Muslim want to show us how Muhammad he split the moon? <clears throat> One of the most dramatic miracles took place in Mecca when the disbelievers once challenged Muhammad to perform a miracle. He was inspired by God to point to the moon to perform a miracle. He was inspired by God to point to this is sound like a witch business. Point at the moon. So, and he pointed at the moon, which is split into two complete separate halves. Two complete separate. Are you sure? Do we have any Muslim agree with this? Anyone who agree with this? So based on the Muhammadan, this is exactly what happened with Mr. Moon. Okay, and what happened? So Muhammad, he split the moon. Why the moon is not a split? The kuffar, they glue it together. You just said that the moon is split. Any Muslim? Aren't you Muslim saying to us that the moon is split completely two pieces? Okay, I'm going to believe now. It's a split two pieces. Why it's not two pieces now? Hmm? What happened? Like did the miracle says and Muhammad says to the moon, hey moon, come back together and then the moon come back? No, you are saying to us that Muhammad, he point his finger at the moon and the moon is split. And what is next? Hello? <clears throat> if we go in the uh, yellow pages of the Abdulism religion, we will find this. Nowhere in the Quran 
saying that Muhammad he split the moon. The Quran, which is written by a foolish, ignorant man, is speaking about the moon split, which is the eclipse. And it doesn't even say who did that. And not only that, Muhammad, he made a false prophecy because this verse saying that the moon is split and this is the sign of the judgment day. So it was a false prophecy. Because if the moon is split 1400 years ago and that was the judgment day starting, well, look like Allah, he changed his mind. He split the moon and then the moon is not a split. The judgment day started and the judgment day is not started yet. Guys, why we have only 270 people now? Where is everybody? Okay, we are going to change the topic later and we are going to talk about how to split a coconut. Invite your friends. All right? I will teach you how to split a coconut very easy. You point your finger at the coconut and you say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And then the coconut will become two pieces. I used to do that always. Actually, I have a cousin brother. He used to work with Robin Hood a gang. And they used to go and steal uh, saves, brother. So they go to the save in the bank and he pointed his finger at the safe and he says, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And the safe open, split two pieces. And this is true. Okay, the moon is split, so why it's not split now? Does it stay in the articles? Muslims, doesn't say, you say, that he split the moon to complete two pieces? <clears throat> is it me who's saying that? Read, read. Hmm? So, he has inspired by Allah to point to the moon, which is split into two complete separate halves. Okay, okay. Okay, this is how they say it in the Philippines. So now the moon is split. Let us take a snapshot of this moon, which became two pieces, and put it in the screen, brother. So this moon, which is split by Allah, what happened after that? Why the moon? Who fixed the moon? Do you Muslims did any investigation about who's behind fixing the moon who was two pieces? Do you think, brother, the infidels, they do that? Just to cover the miracle of Allah? They don't want anyone to see and to know? Do you think Christian Prince behind this? Sound fishy. One shak al -qamar. Any Abdul? <clears throat> and by the way, why Allah don't split the sun? I mean, this is funny. It would be nicer if you split the sun. What the moon? So Muhammad, he saw an eclipse and he thought that this is the moon split? What is that? And if you go in the verse, you will see the verse saying it clearly that if what or what happened, Muhammad reporting what he saw. The hour, the judgment day is night and the moon, the cleft ascender. He did not say Allah split the moon. Allah did not himself didn't say that. So the fabrication here about this verse is a fabrication written after. Because all what the verse saying, you see, if Allah split the moon, shouldn't Allah says, I split the moon. I split the moon. I split the moon to pieces for you. I split the moon. I split the moon. In fact, the Quran says that Allah, he did no miracles to Muhammad. So how this will be contradiction? If we go in the yellow pages of the Abdulism <coughs> book, my voice is tired. <coughs> Excuse me. It says, Allah, he refrained from making miracles chapter 17 verse number 59 so how Allah refrain from sending miracles yet Muhammad 
He split the moon. Which one of them is true? That Allah did miracles? And there is tons of verses in the Quran saying the people keep saying to him, we wish he can give us a miracle. We wish he can give us a miracle. And Muhammad, he says to them, oh, Allah refrain from sending miracles. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Anyone? Any two? Any five? Where is the miracle of Muhammad? According to you Muslims, Muhammad, his sons die. According to you, not to me. I don't believe Muhammad have any kids. And he could not heal them. Jesus, he resurrect people from death. Muhammad himself, he died from poison. What about a guy dying from poison? Allah, he help him. So you Muslims or Abdulism people, you believe in something written in a book long after Muhammad, or you believe in the holy book of the Islam. <clears throat> because as you see, the holy book of Allah saying Allah refrain from sending miracles. Was Allah lying? Was this verse a fabrication? Especially this verse came long after Muhammad, he became a prophet. If we go and take a look at the order of the verses in the Quran, <coughs> let us do this. There is something called Quran according to Revelation. Quran according to Revelation. Okay. The chapter of the moon was supposedly in your Quran today is number 54. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with this website. All right, chapter 54 is exactly chapter 37. Do you see it, Muslims? Chapter 54 in the order of revelation, which means Muhammad, you receive it. <clears throat> it was 37. This is the real number, which means Muhammad, you receive it. in that order that's mean that all the Quran Muhammad you receive before that day was not Quran from Allah anyone knows why why I'm saying so Why I'm saying that? Isn't it the Muslim they say the Quran itself is a miracle? So look at this. Not only it's a stupid statement that Allah refrained from sending miracle we saw in chapter 17. And by the way, chapter 17 is what 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 chapter? It's chapter number 50. What does that mean? That's mean this chapter came long after the chapter of the moon where Allah he split the moon. So why Allah saying I refrain from making miracle if you already he split the moon? You guys, are you getting my point? <clears throat> Do you understand what I'm saying? Let us say yesterday I made a miracle for you. Then the second day I made a verse saying Allah he don't give miracles. So, so how that will work? Because a chapter Al-Qamar 
in reality according to Muslim is number 37 not 54 54 this is according to the book of Osman Osman he made the order he changed the order okay so we will go with this so al qamar was given as a chapter number 37 the one it says Allah refrain from sending miracles is this one al isra chapter 17 but the chapter 17 <coughs> is this number 50 so Allah he sent a verse saying I did not do miracles I refrain from doing miracles after how many chapters somebody can give me the number number 50 minus 37 13 chapter after Allah is still saying I never did a miracle do you see how stupid this is do you see how stupid this is But you know, most of people do not know anything about Islam. So, okay, uh, Muhammad, he says he's put the moon. But the Quran is saying no, because chapter 50, Allah is saying, I did not do any miracle yet. I refrain. Any Muhammadan have any comment? Uh, CP uh, Tida Tiada Lawan Mama Lukan. Yeah, Mama Lukan. How about you, Jeff? Yeah, CP is doing like Mama Lukan stuff. I don't know what is what you mean, but anyway, my Spanish is very good. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Who is Abdulism uh, when they call us? Huh? Hey, by the way, I speak uh, all languages fluently, you know. The grandson of Muhammad, he speaks 70,000 languages. Mm -hmm. Allah, he told him that. I mean, 70,000, 70, 70, which means like what? I don't know. Calculate the number. No, I did not learn it. I speak, uh, I speak uh, Indonesian. Trust me. And the other day, I was watching Indonesian with him. The guy he said uh, 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 he was speaking Indonesian. I understood because I speak Indonesian. He said, "Bismillah illahillahi illahi." And this is Indonesian, you know. So I was able to understand. I mean, you tell me how I understood this unless I speak Indonesian. It was the most funny wedding ever I at, I, I saw all my life. With my respect to all Indonesian. The poor bride, Muslim bride, she looked like, I don't know, they paint her with 10,000 kilograms of makeup and they draw many things in her face. And then the sheikh, he starts saying, starts saying things and the, and the Arabic is, I was dying from laughing from his Arabic. I hope you Christian Indonesian don't do what the Muslim do in their wedding, huh? Don't do that. And then they got a guy, he was, uh, what? He have a long, long uh, tail, uh, hair, like tail in his head. And he have like something in his face. And he started like, there's a guy, he was singing and the other guy was talking. I, I was like, okay. I wish Muhammad can see this. <clears throat> so uh, who's a Muslim want to come and say something? I really felt sorry for this bride, you know, because it, she 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 sounds like she is going to, she's going to a funeral. 
Muslim don't have wedding. I mean, they don't even know how happiness is made, unless they associate themselves with different, you know, uh, with different people. Uh, Cindy, I, Cindy, I kill you. Okay, guys, sorry, I'm going to go to jail. Cindy, husband, he was going to call the police. He will find her text, the last text she sent to me. CP, you killed me. There we go. I'm home doing nothing, and I accuse of getting uh, killed somebody. Any Muslim? Any uh, Abdulism? Hello? Hey, Johnny, how are you? Yeah, I love Indonesian people. They are very nice people. I was just talking about Muslim wedding. It sounds like the, the, the girl she was sold and she is not happy to get married. I feel sorry for her. And then the, the girl she sat and she like she bowed down in front of the husband. Uh, what is that? Why you bow down in front of him? I will be happy if my mother-in-law do that. Not my wife. <laughs> Any Abdul want to say something? So what is the miracle of Allah? I mean, we did not even say anything, and we did, we, we got this miracle busted. Muhammad, he saw the eclipse, and he says the judgment day is near, and the moon split, because he's an ignorant. And we can show you tons of reference that Muhammad, he always go crazy when he saw an eclipse. Michelle, I, I'm not married. I'm saying if I get mother-in-law, that would be good. I will go to Indonesia to marry an Indonesian girl as long they can make the mother-in-law do that, not my wife. I will say to her mother, can you do that, not you? Like, come on. So, like, before we get married, the mother-in-law will... will uh, that's it. I want to marry a woman. I don't want to have a slave. What kind of marriage this marriage is? Hmm? I want to live like the Prophet Muhammad, wake up in the morning and find the women taking lies from my hair. Look how romantic it is. You put your hair, your head in the lap of your beautiful wife. And then she starts picking up lies from your head, the same exactly as the Prophet Muhammad. And take selfie and post it in Facebook. That's so romantic. I'm not lying, by the way. If you want me to show you that the prophet he used to be full of lies, Muslims call me. I don't say anything. For like, I don't say things just to make fun. Absolutely not. And actually, the one who wrote the song is called, This is love. Baby, I want you. I want you right now. It was written because of the scene that the wives of the prophet was collecting lies from his head. I don't know. I'm saying the song correctly. This is love. Baby, I want you. Baby, I love you right now. D never learn songs from me. Uh, they are horrible always. I don't remember anything of the songs. Yeah, Muhammad, his wives, you know, not only the wives, even the neighbors used to collect uh, lies from his head. Actually, I heard there is a lie. She wrote a book or she is writing a book. It's called, uh, like, uh, it's kind of like a sexual book because she left in his panty. So she knew everything. She saw everything. She is like first hand witness. She's writing a book about whatever she saw. Imagine what she saw. Any Mohammedan? So you Muslim, as you come to us with the stories, I find it really crazy. Okay, continue. Splitting the moon, we found it to be stupid because this is even against the Quran. Isra and Mi'raj. What is Isra and Mi'raj? Allah, he took him to heaven and his way back, he took him to Jerusalem. Hmm. What is the proof of this miracle? <clears throat> Let us see the proof. 
Shall we? All right. <sighs> oh boy. Brother. Al Maro. Look, 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 look at this. Uh, look at this uh, 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 graphic. Let me show you. Hold on. I just found this picture. Not even the Lord of the Ring come with this. So Muhammad was in his house, sleeping. Then two angels, they come and they cut his chest. And by the way, this is proven by science. You cannot go to the space unless you do some adjustment. And here you see how scientific this is true. You see, Allah always prove himself. I mean, it's obvious that this should happen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. When the story of uh, Al-Isra happened, Allah took Muhammad to the seventh heaven. He sent two, three angels, and they cut the prophet in the chest. And they took off all the material. And here we know, like, I mean, material of the prophet inside is not the same as our material. His kidney is made from silver. His heart is made from gold. And even his uh, testicles are made of, from uh, rubies. So anyway, they took everything off, and then they wash it in the water of Zamzam. And... I can show you from the website of NASA that all those who went to the space, the American, they do the same to them. They bring water from Zamzam. And by the way, the word Zamzam is a proof that the prophet, he went to the seventh heaven because what do you do when you like push hard in the engine? Like Zamzam. Like zam -zam. You know? So they put it all in the water of Zamzam and they wash it and then they put it back. And then they install a dish of faith and wisdom. I mean, imagine you want to go to the space, but you know nothing about the space. All those who go with NASA, they are like a, a space engineer. So you just go, don't go in the space and just jump in the ship. You have to be like a person who know how to fix your engineer. It's not like just jumping. So Allah, he installed a dish of wisdom and faith. Now, Look what the hadith says. Wisdom and faith. Faith is to find the way to Allah. And wisdom is to fix the spaceship. So the Prophet did not need to go to any school to learn about how to go to the space. Is that true, Muslims? Who believe in this story from the Muslims? As long as you are telling me about Allah, he took him to the seventh heaven. Do you really believe in what Muhammad said? That Allah sent the three angels and they cut his chest and they took all his uh, testicles out? By the way, the Prophet, he have three testicles. I'm, I'm just not sharing really any, any private information. We Arab, we are different. My grandfather, he have four. Two of his and two of his friend, you know, he stole it from him. What is this? <clears throat> so when you say Muhammad, he went to the seven. And by the way, we are not picking things up. I mean, we can, we can show you not the testicles. We can show you that proof. Don't take me wrong. <laughs> people are bad, crazy people, unbelievable. Don't mix between what I said about testicles and that. I will show you the proof, the story. Let us go and find the hadith. <clears throat> Again, I apologize. My voice is really tired. <laughs> All right. Uh, let us find the hadith. <clears throat> All right. Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? 
Okay. Here we go. Here we go. See, I'm not making things up. At the night of Allah, night Allah Messenger was taken to the journey from the second mosque of Mecca. Three person come to him. But look, it says in a dreamy while he was sleeping. <laughs> so this is all was a dream. So why you Muslim lie and you say to us this is was it true? Guys, I will tell you a story, but this is between me and you and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. Please don't share it with anyone. My dad, he used to have a flying carpet. And the flying carpet he got, he got it from Prophet Solomon. And by the way, this is mentioned in the Quran too. But what happened, my dad once, uh, you know, I did not tell you the history of my family. We are very well known. We do uh, airplane hijacking for living. And actually, well, this is why when people ask me, where are you from? I say I'm blonde, black, African-American from Japan, you know? So why? Because my dad and my mom, they were hijacking an airplane, and no airport in the world would let them just land. Even my dad, he says, if you don't let me, my, my wife, she is delivering a, 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 a terrorist, we suppose it's me. So because they did not let them, so we were flying over Africa, and all of this during the process uh, delivering me. So I was like giving all nationality in the world. If you open my back, you will see how many citizenship I have. Unbelievable. Because many Western countries and countries in the world, they give you citizenship if you are born there. You know? Anyway, this is a true story. So flying horse, flying carpet. And now we find that Muhammad was a dream. Okay, continue. In the second most before the divine inspiration was revealed to him, one of them said, which of them is he? Look at this. An angel of Allah is not sure who is Muhammad. Have you ever heard of an idiot angel like this? The angel is asking, which one is he? He's an angel. What if they become Christian prince instead of Allah, Prophet? Do we have any uh, Muslim there? So an angel of Allah, and he is asking, who is Muhammad? Where is Muhammad? What if somebody says, me, me? Or, me, me, hijab? Eh. I mean, at that time, brother, there's no ID. These days, how you know Trump supporter from the anti-Trump? Eh, from the red hat. Eh, there's no red hat at that time. So, in the middle, the second angel said, if, 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 the one who know which Muhammad is, is the one in the middle. Look here. I mean, not the one in the left, not the one in the right. The one in the middle. Unbelievable. This is remind me when I first time I drove in the highway of America. I thought everybody's saying hello to me. They put their hand up and they give me the middle. And I was saying hello, hello, thank you, thank you. I thought they are saying hello, American. I was very nice. And I said, man, they are how friendly this country is. I was driving slow though in the highway. Not because I'm I slow, uh, my car was very old. It was like from the year of donkey. Anyway. So the middle angel, he said, he is the best of them. Oof, 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 oof. This is deep. This is deep. Okay, how long? How? So how come the first angel who do not know how to choose Muhammad from the list by saying he is the best of them. Only the second one, he knew that. Okay, now how we will know the best of them? But by what? Hmm? The best of them in which way? Did we make an exam for them? Muhammad, he got a high grade? We will, what is that? Any uh, Muslim? <clears throat> Uh, 
Any Muhammadan? <laughs> this is deep, yes, Cindy. This is deep. <laughs> oh boy. So the second angel, he said, he is the best of them. The last, which means the third, look at this. Angel, he said, take the best of them. Oh boy. Just take him like this, like as a tomato? What do you mean take him? Shouldn't you ask who is, like, okay, can we take you with, no, take the best of them. This is the boss. This is the drill sergeant. This is Captain America. So the third one says, take the best of them. Mm. I remember one of my cousins in Saudi Arabia. He said to a guy who have a lot of sheep, he said, if I tell you how many sheep you have, what do you give me? He always said, if you just look one look, you count them like you tell me the number. He said, yes. He said, I will give you the best of them. So he told him, 1,010 sheep. The guy is like, what? How you know that? And then he said, okay, now you answer correctly. I have to give you the best I have. So grab one. So the guy, he went there and he grabbed the best of the sheep. Then the guy, he said to him, do you give it to me back if I tell you what is your last name? The guy, he said, how you know my last name? He said, you give it to me back? He said, yes, I will give it to you. He said to him, you are from the family of a prophet Muhammad. The guy, he said, how you know? He said, because this is the dog, you idiot, not a sheep. Hmm. He told him to get the best sheep. He grabbed the dog. How we will know now which one is the sheep and which one is the dog? What do you mean grab the best of them? Hmm? Any Abdul? Anyway, just let it go, man. I mean, come on. Why you why you focus on every letter? I mean, it's true. It's true. Those things happen. Or anyway, and then only that match happened on the night that that much happened on that night, and he did not see them till they came on another night. Oof, 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 oof. Hold on. So they said take him, but did not take him? But, 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 I mean, a word, the guy, he said, take the best of them. So take him, but don't take him. So he said, take them, take the best of them, and then go. Oh, he did not take him. They left. It was a false alarm. <clears throat> so this is the only thing happened at that night. And he did not see them till they came another night, i.e., after the divine inspiration was revealed to him. How many here from Indonesia? Tell me. How, how many here people from Indonesia? You see, I made this broadcast specifically for those who they are in Asia, even though I'm really tired. You know, the guys, I did vacuum. I did two laundry. And uh, I cleaned the tables, uh, the TV, the coffee tables. Uh, I mean, unbelievable. And doing broadcasting. Kiki, you are from Indonesia? Welcome, Kiki. Kiki, we need you. Your name is very atrastic. Look at this brother there from Indonesia. His name is Kiki. 
with you, my friend, we can kick asses. Thank you, Kiki, for being with us. And look what we are doing here. We are kicking the ass of this story. Good to have you, Kiki. But we have from Australia too, not only Indonesia. Well, neighbors, they are neighbors. Do we have any Muslim? Sumatra. See, isn't it beautiful to have the internet? Look, I have a big family everywhere. And I assure you, those people really love me. Pakistan. Welcome, Pakistani guy. By the way, we Arab, when we say Pakistan, we don't say Pakistan, we say Pakistan. So don't think I'm making fun. Tamara, you live a cleaning? Okay, Tamara, she live a cleaning, guys, if anyone need anything. Just to let you know. <clears throat> Java. I don't know about Java. I like Indonesia, but Java, I'm scared because once I have a course, it's called JavaScript. Since then, I'm, I'm, I feel complicated. I lost my like uh, my appetite for anything since the, I took this course JavaScript. It was weird. CB is a layer. Friends, you really must like CB. Just chose CB up. Hello from Miami. Roger, how are you, Roger? You're in Miami. Is uh, how's how's Miami doing? Is it hot there? I want to go to Miami, but the problem is Miami is like this. It's like Mia, me. Which one is the what's the city? It's like Zam Zam. I mean, which one is the first one you take? You get confused. I'm already confused. I'm an Arab. I don't need more confusion. Uh, you came to China? Yes, I came to China. I'm a liar? Okay. We can say whatever you want, but I'm showing the reference in front of me, Abdul. Hmm? Do you see? I'm showing the reference, guys. I'm, anything I say to you ever without showing in the screen what I say and what I I'm reading. Just we go. So are you saying your prophet is lying? It's your prophet saying that, not me. The cloudy. I want to go to Japan, but it's expensive. Japan is not good for me. It's very expensive. Unless you want to pay for everything, then I will come, and I can bring all this, uh, even my family with me, my cousins, you know. So, uh, CP, CP, you see, it's good to see Muslims even carrying my name, even if you are trying to insult me. But this is how much humiliating it is. I mean, look at them. This guy, he can, he, he is not known by a name except my name. CP is a liar. CP is a liar. He go to the bedroom with his wife. He's wearing a shirt. It's called CP is a liar. She said, honey, are we going to make babies today? Are you going to take the shirt or not? I cannot take the shirt. CB is a liar. So we are taking, we are going to have uh, Zegs now, and you are wearing the shirt now? So who is the one who will make the baby, you or ZB? So you go around with my name? Good for you. You can put it in your license plate. That would be even better. But still, you cannot answer me. <laughs> so... Look at this. <clears throat> Shall we continue to get the story? Or we... Uh, uh, l let us continue the story. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then... And he saw them. His eyes were asleep. But his heart was not. That what is called Fox. Unbelievable. The prophet, his eyes was asleep, his heart was not. I wish I can do that. This is a weak hadith. Guys, this is a weak hadith. This is a Bukhari, you donkey. This is Sahil Bukhari. Certified, you are, you are, right now you are a certified donkey, by the way. Here we go. This is Sahil Bukhari. How is Sahil Bukhari and it's weak? Unbelievable. Stupid people. This is weak. Eh, anything we show them embarrassing, they say it's weak. All right, all right. So the prophet, 
His eyes was sleeping, but his heart was not. By the way, all of us Arab, we have the same issue. Our eyes sleep, our heart does not. Uh, I don't think any nation in the world have the same as we do as Arab. I challenge you any time to come to me. You will see my eyes are sleeping, but my heart is like boom, 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 boom. Especially if you eat Indonesian food before you sleep. Too much spice. What is that? So the guy, he was sleep, but his heart, I mean, is not? Hello? That's so deep. And that's so beautiful. Hmm. What do you say? What say you? You're welcome, Buster, Mr. Buddy. You remind me of an actor. I like him. His name is Buddy, Buddy Spencer. Uh, Buddy Spencer and Trans Hill. They are, I used to watch them when I was a kid. You know? Uh, they are like comedian. I don't know if you watch them. But by the way, I mean, by the way, the story of Banana Joe is better than the story of Muhammad. Anyone saw the movie? It's called Banana Joe. Banana Joe. Joe. Banana Joe. Joe. Joe Banana. It's better than this. What is this? So, all of this, I mean, those guys, they come to him only when he, the guy is asleep. The first time they come to him, he was asleep. But he can hear them. The second time they come to him, he's asleep too. But his heart, brother, his heart. Because we Arab, we hear you by heart, not by ears. SCP, have you come to Indonesia? How you know about Indonesian food? That's very easy, my friend. <clears throat> in America, brother, we can get anything we want. You watch YouTube about Indonesian food, you see the guy going crazy, say, <laughs> then you know it's spicy. And this is how I learned about Indonesian food. Thank you very much. Now, what is this? So his heart was not and so the case with prophets. If, 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 if. You see, guys, this is a special, special uh, uh, function. Only prophets have it. Only prophets. Their eyes sleep, their heart doesn't. Thank you, Grace. I am in America, yes. I hope is that okay with you, especially if you are a Democrat. Democrat only welcome refugee. I'm not a refugee. <laughs> you are not welcome in America if you are an American citizen. If you are illegal, you are welcome. We give you free uh, health insurance. Hmm. Any Abdul? Okay, so now we learn that the prophets, they sleep with their eyes, but their heart is always like boom, 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 boom. And then their eyes sleep, while their heart do not sleep, brother. So those angels did not talk to him till they carried him and placed him beside the will of Zamzam. Look at this. They did not talk to him. They carried him and they put him next to the water of Zamzam. Okay, where is the people? Nobody saw them? Nobody, I mean, who, who's going to see them? Are you kidding me? It's not allowed. Hmm? Sony, we have a topic, my friend. Just let us fix the topic. Don't you see how in, uh, interesting the story is? This is a this, this can be a perfect movie, by the way. I wish I'd, I'm good at making cartoon. And then, guys. They took him next to the water of Zamzam and they put him in the floor. From among them, Jibril. Finally, we know one of the guys, the angels, their name. I can't tell now, we don't have names. 
Finally, we got one of them, his name. From among them, Jibreel. He took a charge of him. Like Jibreel, like he, he lift up his, uh, his sleeves and he said, leave him for me. Leave Muhammad for me. Put him in the floor, okay? Stay away. Okay, and then what Jibreel did? And then Jibreel cut open this part of the part. In the hadith, it says from here to here, which means from his throat to his testicles. Really? This is what happened? Hmm. I miss the old days. I used to watch cartoon when I was a kid. It was the best thing, actually. Do we have any Muhammad in there? So this is the miracle you are telling us about. Muhammad, he took him to... Uh, Allah took him to the seven heavens. A Batman and a Hajj are waiting for the Batman miracle. Uh, isn't it obviously that Batman has no miracle? It's a fiction, stupid movie. Uh, isn't it obvious I'm saying to you that your prophet story is the same as Batman? It can be a best movie for you know, a fiction graphic. Do you really think that Batman, he can fly and jump from building to building like that? So, brother, the angel Jibreel, he took a charge and he cut off his chest and his belly, his stomach, his testicles, and he started taking things off and he washed it with Zamzam. So, what do you say, Muslims? What do what say you about this story until now? We are not done. The story is getting more exciting. Hey, by the way, this is true. The sun set in a murky water, yes, and proving. If you don't believe me, you can go to Java and Jakarta. I agree. Especially in east of Java. Thank you, Paul. I agree with you. Hey, guys, if you want to see the sun set in murky water, as the Quran says, go to east of Java, not in the west of Java. I will tell you why. Because in the west of Java, this is after the sun set in the murky, she take a shower. Because now she's getting dirty. So in the east of Java, she jump in the murky water. In the west of Java, you know, she uh, take a shower and she's clean. And this is a true story. And we, I have, we have witnesses from Jakarta, as you see. By the way, do you know that Jakarta, uh, we Arab, we are the one who gave it the name? I, I will explain to you. There was a prophet of Allah. His name is Jack. And he was so good in something called Arta. So Allah, he sent this guy, Jack, and he taught the Indonesian Arta, which means art. You see, even the word art is starting from Ar 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 Arabica, you know? I mean, we are, the taught, we are the one who taught everything. So Jack Arta, and this is where the word Jack Arta came from. True story. Sahih al-Bukhari. <laughs> I'm sure some people will think that I'm saying, I'm speaking serious. I'm not. I'm just joking. Hello? Unbelievable. Sure, true story. <laughs> I mean, why the story of Muhammad is accepted accepted by Muslims is not, and my story is not. I mean, what a different. <laughs> Didn't you hear Al Qazafi in his speech? He was saying, even Shakespeare is an Arab, his real name is Sheikh Isbur. Yeah, he said that in the front of tens of thousands. Shakespeare is an Arab. His real name is Shakespeare. And actually, I, I, I don't like to say this, but just this is between us and like YouTube and Instagram. He's my cousin. Shakespeare, Shakespeare is my cousin. Right? Yes, Jesus loves us. If Jesus loves us, so we don't go and go to this stupid cult. Otherwise, we will be a bunch of fools now following this madness. Do we have any Abdul have anything to, thing to say? Well, where is the guy who called me liar? Where is the guy? What happened? Where, what happened? You keep calling me liar, liar, liar. Here we go, the story in front of you. Who of you Muslim really believe in this, this story? Any Muslim? Who of you really believe in this story?
I'm just wondering. Anyone? My Skype is open if anyone want to call me. Mm. Anyway, let us continue. And by the way, the actor who do this Batman is a stupid idiot. I don't like them. Most of the actors in Hollywood, they are mentally ill. Seriously. You see, many people, they, they, they worship I, you know, those actors. But if you go and you see their personality, they are really low-class people. Very garbage. Call Ustaz Abdul Samad, Ustaz Abdul Haydayat. I, I cannot call them, my friend. I, if I call them, they will destroy me. Any Ustaz? And by the way, in, in, in Indonesia, those uh, uh, businessmen, they are businessmen. They are not really scholars. They don't even know how to say their prophet name correctly. It's a business. He go, he, uh, he he act like he's speaking Arabic, and then those poor poor uh, 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 Muslims they give them money. Look at Zakir Naik. He lives as, as a millionaire. He's a millionaire actually. They broadcast his TV. He have a TV now, in twelve satellite. I remember once we wanted to do like live broadcast on satellite. It cost between twenty one to twenty seven thousand. For normal, not high definition, a month in one satellite. So, if you have a twelve satellite, how much money he is? Where the money is coming from? So they flood him with the money, hoping that this guy he can convert people and fool them. But uh, look. One page, one page of the stories of Muhammad destroy all this, their fabrication. Look at this madness in front of us. And then, let us continue the story. And then, brother, Jibreel cut out, opened the part of his body between his throat and the middle of his chest. And by the way, it doesn't say that. It says down all the way to his testicles. And they took a brother all the material out of his chest and upon the men. I don't know even how to say this word. Abund, ab, 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 do, is, is that Abdul men? Hold on, let me let me pronounce it a story. Abdul men. Okay, so they took Abdul men from his uh, uh, belly and they then they wash it with Zamzam. They cannot wash it with anything. It have to be Zamzam. If you use like different water, oh no, the surgery will be a failure. It have to be Zam Zam, which is full of arsenic, according to the study of the laboratory in England. All the Muslims who brought Zamzam, laboratory proof that Zamzam is full of arsenic, which means each time you drink from it. You are dying. It's like a sm smoking a 20 cigarette. And then the Muslim, they made the protest and they get angry and then the station apologize <clears throat> as usual. So now what we would do? Who is a Muslim? I tell us why they cut his surgery. Why the surgery for? What is the what is the purpose? Why the Muslim did not list in their article speaking about the miracle of Allah Prophet, saying that Muhammad is the only Prophet who Allah cut off his chest and he washed everything inside the material with the water of Zamzam. 
you know what if guys in Indonesia if you make me a president I promise you I will provide Zamzam to every house What do you think? Muslims will vote for me then? And then we wake up in the morning, we find no no Indonesian left. Zimzum. It's poisoned. Why you did not mention this? I mean, you say to Muhammad, he took Allah took him. Why you don't tell us how he went there so we can die laughing? You will win anyway because we will die laughing. Don't you want us to die? Here we go. Any Abdul <clears throat> except Papa One? What, 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 Papa One Grace? No, no, I don't want any Indonesian to die. I love them more, even the Muslims. We are just joking, we will not let them drink from this water. We go back to the story. This story, by the way, is touching my heart. I said my heart, not anything else. What's wrong with people? So now, brother, they wash it with Zamzam. And then with their with his own hands. I'm so glad he did not use the hands of somebody else. I mean, these days, guys, everything is made in China. <laughs> they wash it with his own hands. Why? You're expecting him to use his tongue? Are you sure with his own hands? And by the way, why the angels have hands? I thought they have 600 uh, wings. What do you mean hands? Is it Muhammad he said they have 600 wings? So he have 600 hands? What? 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 You know, uh, I saw actually a statues. Oh, I think it's a Hindu. Like there's a statues. Like he have many hands. I don't know what they call it. Anyone knows what they call it? Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. I get something. Hold on. I got it. I'm searching here. I look at this. I got something. Me. This is not the guy I'm looking for, but uh, it's close. Look at this, brother. Hmm. True story. Any Muslim have any comment? He agree, disagree. You like it, don't like it. You want to say something? Anyone? Hmm. Look like the Muslims agree. Finally, I thought they will not agree. This is Shiva. You know what? I never know that this is Shiva because once I met him, but I never noticed. It's Hindu God, okay. But I'm not really educated about the Hindu religion. The only thing I know that in India, uh, Hindus don't eat uh, beef. And actually, I made a mistake once. I was speaking in front of 10,000 Hindus, and I made a big mistake, actually, I have to admit. All of them they convert to Islam because of me. Ten thousand one day. It's like Zakir Naik. Uh, uh, he uh, inspired me. I said, "Do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter?" The second I said that, all those Hindus converted to Islam, brother. Just by saying, "Do you know that the biggest chapter is the cow chapter?" Unbelievable. This is, by the way, this is a true story. Hmm. Now we go back to the story. Let us uh, focus, please. Focus with me. 
Don't you want to graduate this year from Allah school? I mean, come on, let us focus. So, brother, the angel, they wash all those things in the in the belly and the stomach of the prophet with their own hands. I feel sorry for this angel. <laughs> what you put your hand in, man? Till he cleansed the inside of his body. If, 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 if. What is inside his body, brother? Who is a Muslim on the house? Who is a Muslim? I tell us what was wrong with the body of Muhammad to the point he needed cleansing surgery. Hmm? We have a Kurdish copy of you in the room. I don't know what you mean. I'm, I mean, my books is full of those stories. Don't you have my books? Until now, I got no Muslim want to talk to me. I have a guy, but I don't think he's a Muslim. Only Muslim, please take me. Uh, this is maybe the guy who texts me is an ex-Muslim Kurdish. All right. But, uh, you know, I mean, okay, he's welcome, but I don't have, uh, I mean, I would talk about what? He would tell me why he left Islam. Eh. I mean, oh, isn't it obvious why people leave Islam? Look at this stupid religion. Don't you see it? I mean, how you can be a human being who live in the, in the, in the, in the 2019, in the age of uh, smartphones and etc., and you believe in this? Any Muslim want to say anything? Let us continue. And here is a disaster. We are not done. Here, the story became more hilarious, and then. A golden tray containing a gold ball full of belief and wisdom was abroad. But like what the heck? A golden tray full of belief and wisdom brought to Muhammad. Are you sure? Muslims, are you saying to me the only religion in the world which believe come in dishes and wisdom come in dishes is Allah religion? Is that right? Because do you know how I get my degrees? I did not go to school. I order one dish of law, one dish of Sharia, one dish of uh, stupidity, Islamic, uh, etc. And then I, uh, yeah, that's it. I became uh, full of knowledge about this garbage. I did not go to school. It's a dishes in the Middle East. We have a dishes. And then I noticed that I'm short of wisdom. So I said to myself, "Let us." Uh, I, I went to Alibaba, you know, uh, and the uh, the and the forty thief cave. Uh, he said uh, because he, he stole a lot of wisdom from the Greek, you know. So he said to me, "If you want, I can give you a dish which we stole and nobody know about it. But if you have to pay me extra." You know, so I told Alibaba, okay, Alibaba, uh, you know, give me the dish, but he gave me the wrong dish. I went home, I woke up in the morning, I found myself speaking Indonesian, and I called myself Ustaz. So I went back to Alibaba, and I tried to convince him to give me the correct dish, because this is the wrong one. Look what happened, I'm speaking Indonesian now. But Alibaba now, because he cannot understand my language, because now we are not Arab uh, speaking Arabic, I speak Indonesian, he speak Arabic. So I start like moving my hands for him and he got me wrong again. He get me another dish. I went home. I woke up in the morning. I found myself speaking uh, Tagalog, Filipino language. I went to Aladdin. I said, Aladdin, what's wrong with you? Uh, yesterday you give me a dish. I, I spoke uh, uh, Jakarta Java wisdom. And now you give me a dish. I speak Filipino wisdom to the point I keep saying, give me, I want to eat rice. I want to eat rice. Ali Alibaba, he said, he did not understand exactly what the problem, he said, look like we have a problem with the dishes, you know. So he gave me another dish. I ate from that, that dish, and I wish I never ate from it. 
I, I went I went to uh, to sleep. I, I found myself uh, a Christian prince. I look in the mirror. I got scared. And since then, I'm trying to get a dish which will return me to the old uh, way, but I cannot find Alibaba. Uh, uh, the city, they stopped his license because he made many mistakes by the recipe he's given us. And uh, somebody reported him for uh, opening his cave in the flea market. And because of that, I'm a Christian prince now. Very sad story. Imagine you sleep as uh, like, uh, you know, and you woke up as a Christian prince. This is a true story, by the way. I mean, Muslims, why you are saying my story is not true? Isn't my story more convincing than your story? Look at this. A dish of faith and dish of wisdom. Hmm. It is a hey, master, please. What are you talking about? Any Muslim have anything to say? A dish of picture, a dish of uh, what? A dish of a go uh, and look, guys. They will never bring the dishes, normal dishes, not like it's like made in China. No, a dish is made of gold. Inside a tray of gold, do you see it? I mean, this is expensive. This dish must be expensive, brother. They did not bring it in plastic like you know those uh, dishes, you know, uh, or uh, made any. It had to be golden tray and golden dish. And in the golden tray and golden dish, we have two dishes. One dish is a go is a is a is a dish of faith, and the one other one is a dish of wisdom. And now let us see how they want to store it. The story is getting more complicated. And then, brother, Jibril, he stuffed his chest. What? What? He stuffed what? <clears throat> hmm? I'm black Abdul Rahman. Who is Abdul Rahman? I don't know. Muslims, what is that? Jibreel, he stuffed his chest and his throat and his blood vessels by the dish of wisdom and the dish of faith. Hmm? What are we talking about here? He stuffed? Okay, I got an idea. Mm. So, uh, just to make you understand what's going on here, um, okay, just to explain, okay, just to explain, uh, let us go here. Okay, this one is good. So, uh, this is a stuffed turkey. So, what do you do? Look like the angels are the first one who come with this idea. You open the turkey, and then you put inside the turkey rice and whatever, like spice, etc. And then you cook it. And this is where a human being learned about stuffing something inside something. So they brought a dish of wisdom and they stuff it, brother, inside the prophet. Isn't it, this is beautiful? Here we go. I made people hungry now. I'm the one who's hungry. I did not eat since, since yesterday. I should eat actually. You guys live in, ja in Jakarta and in Indonesia and in Java, those beautiful islands, you have the beaches, you have the nice food. For me, once I went to the laboratory to do blood test, they told me that it is 90% pizza. And the rest, it's a, a beet. Hmm. 
Any mm. Abdul? What is that? Your prophet, you really believe that wisdom and believe is stuffed in the vessels and the chest of your prophet and then you close it? I'm so glad they close it, brother. Imagine the prophet. Hold on, hold on. I think I am getting close to know what's happening exactly. And I was wondering, what is that? I got it. Truly, truly, I got it. I'm just looking for the right picture to show you. Let me introduce to you a new image of a Prophet Muhammad. Iron Man. Iron Man, he stuffed his chest with a dish of wisdom and dish of uh, faith and energy. And I was saying to myself, when this movie took the story from where they took it from? It's from the Prophet Muhammad. Isn't it obvious? I mean, isn't it obvious? What's wrong with you people? Why you are? Why you don't? Why you don't think it's uh, so so fast? And now we knew why the surgery for so he can fly in the space. Did you see? Didn't you see this Iron Man? He go in the space, and he like uh, there's a there's a. Uh, uh, a Japanese cartoon I forgot the name of it you know he the guy he fly in the space and, uh, and now we know what's what's going on and this is make sense why people don't want to understand and then after uh, this happened the prophet he went to the uh, to the sky here we go that makes sense a lot of sense and those infidels they don't show respect or and they don't understand so Muslims what uh, what the miracle of a Prophet Muhammad what, what are you talking about who is a Muslim here really is convinced with this miracle? People, how many of you would download this video? I hope that uh, people from Indonesia would download it and they would add subtitles so people will see how stupid this cult is. Islam only survived, my friend, because people are ignorant about how stupid this cult is. This is reality. This is very stupid. I mean, this story is not convincing to somebody living in the cave time. How oh, we can believe in it? Any Muhammadan have anything to say after before we give you? Uh, by the way, if any Muslim he call us, Allah will stuff your chest with a dish of faith and dish of wisdom. All in Islam, faith and wisdom come in dishes. And only in Islam, a prophet of Allah, he need a plastic surgery for his chest. And guess what? Even the Quran says that Allah, he did the plastic surgery to the prophet. You believe it? Yes, brother. Chapter 94, verse number 1. The first plastic surgery in the history. Silicone surgery. So Allah, he opened the chest of Muhammad and he stuffed his boobs with the wisdom and not silicone, not like the fake surgeries. This is a real surgery. This is the good one. 
for free done by angels the best doctors in the world <clears throat> hmm? Allah expanded the burden the, the, the chest of the prophet and he by the wind that he removed the burden what was inside the prophet it just two one tell us what exactly they found there and the funny the Muslim they say to us if Allah wants something he say B is going to be so why did not say okay Muhammad you have burden in your chest be empty take it off why he sent the three angels and they open his chest and, the, oh, and by the way the poor Muhammad was doing what like he was watching like, woo, woo, what are you doing with my chest woo, woo, what they could they go unbelievable man any Mohammedan all right, guys, I'm not going to keep you for long. Uh, tomorrow, I will be with the brother David and brother Sam Shamoon in their channel, the channel of uh, David, uh, at 8 o'clock. I, I, I might do a broadcast before. I'm not sure. You know, it's a, uh, if I can serve, I will do my best. Uh, next week, I will be busy for a few days. So if you don't see me doing broadcast, don't be worried. Be happy. I will give you a few days, a few days off me. So you miss me, because aren't you bored? This Christian prince every day, every day, every day. I mean, come on, don't you sleep? We leave you in the morning. We come after two hours. You are alive on air. Three hours, you are alive on air. At night, you are alive on air. We woke up in the morning again. You are alive on air. What's wrong with? Come on, just go. Hmm? Yeah. So no, it's not a summer vacation. I wish. What summer vacation? What summer vacation? We are Arab, we don't take vacations. Rather, we take neighborhood, we, uh, we hijack airplanes, etc. We don't take vacation, brother. We are Arab, I'm Arab. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, so like, uh, I'm not gone yet, I'm just saying you. So next week, if you don't see me, I might do a podcast if I have time. But if you don't see me, don't say what we are Christian friends, okay? I'm telling you from now. I will be a little bit busy. Uh, no woman, no cry, no money, no honey. Be happy. That's that. I I think. That, look, hold on. I think Mr. Barry, the prophet of Allah, and his angels, they give him some of the dish of the wisdom. Look at this, brother Barry. He said, "No woman." No cry, no money, no honey. Be happy, don't worry. I mean, where do you get this wisdom from, Bali? Are you sure you did not take some of the wisdom of the prophet from his chest or the dish there? Ah, you were watching and you came under the table and you grabbed some wisdom, obviously. This is cannot be your own word. This is the word of Allah, obviously. There's no way a human being will say this. This is Quran. Look at this. This is Quran. No women, no cry. No money, no honey. Be happy. This. See, I just now uh, I I have to admit that you are a prophet too. Hmm? All right, guys. So, as you see. Whoever believe in something called miraculous of Muhammad or miracles of Allah, the science is stupid. You know, we showed you how I, my books is full of reference about how they fabricate claiming false science. History, Quran is full of stupid history, mistakes. Uh, uh, even Allah don't remember even what he created first. You know? So how in the world anyone can believe in this? You know what I mean? How we can believe in this? What's happened to a human being?
I mean, do we became so slow? Did we became so stupid? Did we became so dummy? What happened to our brain? Did we kill our brain? Did we assassinate our brain? Because when you believe in this, obviously, your brain is dead. There is no way anyone he have little brain he is using it. He believe in this madness. Any Muhammadan before we go? Anyone? nobody all right guys look like we are out of them i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you and uh i hope that i will see all of you downloading my videos adding subtitle in many languages uh, i know in indonesia there's many languages i don't know what you what what is the most popular one uh philippine actually filipinos don't need because most of them speak english but actually in some areas they don't really speak with english so any whatever language you can you can translate to that will be a blessing so people will see how stupid it is and if the video is too long you can make it short you know like between the story we, we mentioned a lot of things you can cut it off and just to focus in the story itself so thank you again for being here may the Lord bless you and tomorrow we will see you again for sure I will be with the brother uh, David and Sam in their channel and I might do live podcast before even I go with them if I could. Until I see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. You can search Amazon. They are, exist in many languages: Spanish, English, Dutch, German, Swedish, and soon uh, more languages to come. Thank you very much. And I see you tomorrow.